So what up everybody, this is Alex from Scratch and in this tutorial I will give you some advices for drum scratching, some tips. Um, drum scratching is actually nothing else than scratching, but you use uh, drum sounds as audio material. Here's a kick drum, then follows a snare. Um, a great advice is when you train drum scratching, uh, play over a hi-hat or a rhythmical reference. I have prepared something for you. Yeah, it's pretty nice. And then on top of that, I would recommend to add also a delay, which is synchronized to the tempo. Because now... Yeah, it sounds a little bit more fluent. So now we combine everything. Yeah, so and it gives you a lot of possibilities to be creative with this combination. That should be really your setup when you start uh, drum scratching. Um, the first variation or a good start for training is when you count. Yeah, it's uh, really uh, important. Let's say one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. And now you should place your snare always on the two and on the four sounds like this so and as i've shown in the video um then, when you got it down, you have placed the snare on the two and then the four. You can start to incorporate the kick drum. Yeah. And place the kick drum uh, for this pattern on the one and on the three uh, in the form of a baby scratch. Yeah. A baby scratch and then a forward stroke. As you can see here in the visualizer, this is the forward, the backward stroke and then additional forward stroke. And then follows after a 116 rest. Follows the snare, yeah? That's pretty easy. Forward, backward, forward, rest, and then follows the snare. Now over the uh, drum loop. So, and when you got it down, try to incorporate some other kick drums, snares, try to play on the crossfader continuative as a sequence, and then you can be creative, some variations for you. So this is it for the moment. Um, I hope you liked the video. Give us a thumb up or subscribe to the channel. More tutorials coming soon. Peace.